Being a gymnast is really hard. It takes years of time and dedication to make it all work and to get a career out of your passion. However, many gymnasts just don't get where they want and don't perform super well when compared to others. There are some amazing gymnasts and some that just aren't as good. So today we're going to discuss the best and worst gymnasts in the world. Being the worst on this list doesn't make them a bad gymnast. It's all just in comparison to the others we'll feature on this list. So let's cover the worst gymnasts first. Sitting at number 5, Sean Johnson, United United States. Sean Johnson was actually the face of Team USA during the 2008 Games, alongside Nastia Liukin. She led Team USA to a silver medal and was the gold medalist of the balance beam that year as well. She then went on to win a silver medal in the all-round on the floor exercise. She's an inspiration to many young women around the world and inspired many to get into gymnastics. Sadly, she isn't anything compared to the others on this list, but she's still an inspiration and a role model. Next at number 4, Aliyah Mustafina, Russia. Our number four spot on the worst gymnast on this list is Aliyah Mustafina from Russia. Her journey was very long and hard fought, but in the end, just doesn't compare to the other gymnasts on this list. She ended up with four medals in the 2012 Olympic Games. She also led Russia to get silver medals, then tied with Team USA. She finally won her old gold medal in uneven bar finals. She was a crazy gymnast, but just doesn't cut it compared to the others. Then at number three, Dominique Dawes, United States. It's crazy how often injured injuries happen in a sport so well protected. But things happen. Many people remember back in 1996, during the Olympics, Carrie Strug had an injury during her one-footed vault. This then opened up the field for her teammate, Dominique Dawes, who went on to steal the show completely. She competed in the floor finals and took home bronze. This allowed her to become the first female African-American to win an individual event in gymnastics. She made history as an African-American athlete with that medal. She is the first African-American woman to win an individual Olympic gold medal in artistic gymnastics and the first black person of any nationality or gender to win an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics. Dawes won team medals in all three Olympic games she participated in, Barcelona 1992, Atlanta 1996, and Sydney 2000. Her team finished fourth in the 2000 games, but 10 years later, the International Olympic Committee stripped China of its bronze medal because one of their members was underage. On August 11, 2010, the IOC awarded Dawes and her teammates from the 2000 Olympics with a team bronze medal. Dawes wanted to give her medals meaning and now works as a motivational speaker. It's crazy that even something as amazing as this isn't even close to some of the other gymnasts we'll see later on this list. This was such an achievement, but with better things to come. It's hard to say Dawes was a bad gymnast, but in comparison to everyone else later on, she kind of is. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments section below. Sitting at number two, Mo Hui Lan, China. The 1990s were a great time for gymnastics and Mo Hui Lan was actually the best gymnast the Chinese had to offer. She was super successful and showed off what gymnasts can be like. She was recognized for her difficult yet advanced routines and even failed many times because of them. Her key falls from trying to do these harder than usual routines really lost her many more events. This was evident during the 1996 Olympics in which she made a mistake and took fifth place. Though she was one of the most successful and advanced gymnasts at the time, the risk she took to show off really didn't play into her favor. And at number one, for the worst gymnast, Tatiana Gutsu, Unified Team. The first gymnast on the worst side of this list comes from the Soviet Union at the time. Tatiana Gutsu won the 1992 all-around gold for her team. She also beat her opponent Shannon Miller by just 0.012 points. She was known for having high difficulty values, especially when she won the bronze medals in 1992. Gutsu then went on to claim a gold medal for the team and the silver on uneven bars in Barcelona. Though this seems great, she's easily the worst on this list when compared to the others. However, her accomplishments are amazing, but others have done way better. And now we have the top five best gymnasts in the world. First up is number five, Olga Korbut, Soviet Union. Olga Korbut is easily in the top five gymnasts of all time and is here because of her redefining the artistic side of the sport. During 1972, she was not considered one of the best while on the USSR team, but went on to steal the show with a move on the uneven bars. She completed a standing backflip to catch the bars. It was insane and landed her a silver medal on bars and a gold on beam and floor. The skill on the uneven bars was what made her famous, but nowadays that move isn't even recognized anymore. Her Olympic debut was legendary and memorable and caused so many young girls to head out and take up this wonderful sport named gymnastics. What do you think about her? Let us know down in the comments section below. Now at number four, Svetlana Korkina, Russia. Here at number four, we have another gymnast who is just incredible and who became one of the most popular and successful gymnasts of all time. She never won a gold on the all around 
turnaround as Corquina was edged out by Carly Patterson in 2004. However, despite that, she has won seven Olympic medals and 20 world championship medals in her career. People called her the queen of the bars at the time as she won consecutive Olympic gold medals in both 1996 and 2000, then won gold in 1995, 1996, 1997, 1999, and 2001. These were crazy and took some intense skill to achieve. Corquina was an innovator in her time and has eight skills named after her in the code of points for the sport. What a crazy legend to leave behind. Next at number three, Larisa Latinina, Soviet Union. Larisa Latinina was a two-time Olympic all-around champ, which made her rank second among Olympians of all sports because of her 18 career medals. She was known for her incredible movements on the floor, where she also won three consecutive gold medals in 1956, 1960, and 1964. The New York Times wrote, As a gymnast, Latinina performed with a dancer's erect posture and classic lines. Her personality was commanding. She was beautiful and unwavering in the consistency of her routines. The Soviets were dominant, and no one was more accomplished than Latinina. It was a different sport, less demanding but more elegant. Women's gymnastics was actually performed by women instead of girls. What an incredible woman! Now at number two, Vera Kozlovska, Czechoslovakia. Looking at her gymnastics skills, Vera Kozlovska is deserving of the number two slot. Her attitude could be reason enough to lower her, but she will stay in second. Kozlovska won a total of seven golds and four silvers between 1960 and 1968. In 1960, she won the silver in the team event, and in 1964, she broke free and won gold in the all-around, vault, and balance beam, and silver in the team event. In 1968, she won gold in the all-around, vault, uneven bars, and floor exercise, and took silver in the balance beam and team competition. She was also very outspoken about her own views of the Soviet communism during the 1968 Olympics. This wasn't something easily done as she risked her life to do so. She even tied for gold because the judges didn't like what she said about the Soviet Union at the time. What a crazy time to live in. What do you think about our number two spot? Let us know down in the comments section below. And at number one, we have Nadia Comaneci, Romania. The final gymnast on this list is Nadia Comaneci, who is well regarded as the best gymnast in the world. She has become well known for her being the first ever person to score a perfect 10 in Olympic gymnastics, and she was only 14 at the time. This was also on uneven bars, so it showed just how skilled she was in 1976. During those games, she also went on to win gold during the all around, uneven bars, balance beam, and then silver in the team competition. She was just incredible at the time. In 1980, she managed to win another gold in the same ones. She was then added to the International Hall of Fame for Gymnastics and received the highest award given by the Olympic Committee, the Olympic Order. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching watching today's video.